Mary Todd Lincoln, Life in the Eye of the Public The First Lady of the President of the United States is the woman behind the man. Look to as the role model for all women and citizens of the United States. First ladies are constantly observed and critiqued for their decisions, actions, and lifestyle choices. Living under such circumstances can bring on many stresses and pressures in addition to having such a high political status. And when the other uncontrollable tragedies of life occur, it can be difficult to maintain a positive attitude and act in the way a public figure is expected to. Mary Ted Lincoln, wife of 16th President Abraham Lincoln, was one of the few women in our history who experienced this different way of life. Her time in office has been analyzed by many historians and has been a major topic for debate. An opinionated and impulsive woman, Mary often received criticism for her actions during her husband's presidency. Multiple people, both during and after Mary's life, questioned her sanity. Some even speculated that she suffered from bipolar disorder. However, when considering the constant negative public criticism, the deaths of her loved ones, and debilitating health conditions she endured throughout and subsequent to the presidency, it is arguable that her conduct was certainly reasonable. On several occasions, due to her fairly public life, Mary was very harshly evaluated. She believed it was her duty as the First Lady to keep up appearances, so she spent large amounts of money on clothes and other miscellaneous items for the White House. Her extravagant spending and lavish lifestyle offended many people who believed her priorities were in the wrong place at a time of war. While these costly decisions were something Mary could not deny, the accusations against her that claimed she was a Confederate spy were completely false. The cause for decision derived from their erratic family situation, in which Mary, like her husband, supported the Union, while her slave owning family believed in the Confederacy. Three of Mary's brothers even fought in the Confederate Army. Yet Mary herself volunteered as a nurse at Union hospitals, offered advice to the President on military personnel, suggested minor military appointments to Secretary of War Edward Stanton, toured Union Army camps, and reviewed troops with her husband. As an active participant in the Union, Mary was deeply offended by the false rumors. With all the negative attention for these various issues, Mary had many public outbursts, which only resulted in more backlash. The constant criticism and pressure to conform to the public standards added to Mary's stress. As if her life were not enough of a burden at the time, the many personal tragedies Mary faced made it that much worse. Eleven years prior to the presidency, Mary and Abraham lost their son Eddie at the age of three. Then while Lincoln was in office, their 12-year-old son Willie Lincoln passed away. Just a few short years later, tragedy struck again in the infamous assassination of Mary's husband Abraham Lincoln, which took place right beside her. Stunned from the incredibly shocking incident, she fainted at the scene. Following his death, Mary spent five weeks in bed and did not attend Abraham's funeral. Personally witnessing his murder was a tragic event that emotionally scarred her. Then yet again, Mary lost another child. In 1871, 18-year-old child Lincoln passed away of tuberculosis. As a mother to outlive three of her four children and lose her husband at a relatively young age, Mary was beside herself in grief. Her life from there on out was consumed by her tragedies, depression, and deteriorating mental and physical health. Mary dealt with severe headaches and migraines through the duration of the presidency and following. She spiraled into depression due to the many tragic incidents through her life. It was even speculated that Mary had bipolar disorder, but this was not confirmed. The combination of all of these ailments most definitely attributed to her actions and the way she conducted herself. While some have found her behavior as the First Lady of the United States to be inappropriate, Mary's actions are justified under the circumstances she was in. She was most likely not crazy nor mentally insane, as so many historians have dismissed her as. With such a public life, many personal tragedies, and intense health issues, she was under stress that not many could handle. When reviewing the life of Mary Todd Lincoln, one should take into account all she has been through, and truly see the human side of her.